Hey everybody, Mark Johnson here, founder and creative director of Able Abe Studios. Back again with another vlog. Today's vlog is number 35, and uh, I hope everyone is off to a great start to their week. Um, for myself, uh, I'm kind of in uh, transition mode. You know, always when we go into the new month, I always try to um, prepare myself for the coming month. Uh, the first thing that I usually do is just kind of think of the things that I didn't get done in the past week. I was like review the calendar that I created for myself at the beginning of the month. And, um, you know, weekly I try to mark off the things that I've been able to complete throughout the month and uh, just kind of review it. So by the time it comes to the end of the month, you know, I, I should have a lot of things marked off. If not, the things that didn't get marked off, I kind of think about um, why that didn't get done. You know, for some cases, it's because, you know, other things popped up and it just didn't get it happen. You know, even if I don't get it completed on the day that I had wrote on the calendar, I still try to find a way to get it done. And if I can do that, then I'll mark it off. If not, and it remains there until the end of the month, you know, I question myself why that happened. You know, what was the thing that kept me from getting that done? You know, and so going to the new month, I try to keep that in mind. And, um... Try not that happen. Try not to let that happen in the coming month. Um, another thing that I do is I try to set at least four goals that are outside of maybe the things that I'm scheduling myself to do to work those in somehow and try to get those done. A lot of times it's more about just going to a social event, you know, going to an art opening, um, so that in that sense I'm putting myself out there and I'm also networking. You know, uh, for this month, what I did actually um, for a social event was multiple things. One was an art opening and, um, you know, got to meet the artist, you know, kind of talk to her a little bit um, about her artwork and her process. And, you know, she kind of explained to me that uh, she's taking a trip to Japan, you know, coming up pretty soon. And um, it was just kind of great to talk to her and, you know, to find the connections because I actually didn't know her personally. Um, but I knew her sister, and I didn't know that there were sisters. I knew her grandmother, and I knew her aunt. So it was just kind of like weird to kind of see how these connections um, through people uh, happen, you know, and, and you never know. And so that's kind of why I put, um, you know, get into some kind of social event so that I can get into those opportunities and meet other people, um, and you know, maybe other opportunities as well. Uh, another thing I put on there was to do some rewrites because I do a lot of writing but sometimes it's really just um, in notebooks and it doesn't really go further than that. So what I do is try to schedule at least five rewrites in a month. So that's maybe one a week, you know, and um, in that way I'm always having new content that I can use and, you know, maybe re-edit it, make it into a bigger story um, or even use it for a contest which I actually was able to do this month or this past, past month this past September um, so I just kind of took a piece that I had and reworked it to the guidelines that they had um, in their submission guidelines and submitted it and so it was just kind of an opportunity that kind of really just made itself because I found the opportunity um, for the contest and then they had the artwork or I had the written piece ready to go um, and just kind of Flipped it a little bit, you know, made it, the editing was, make sure the editing was right and on point, and uh, submitted it. So, I mean, uh, that's just kind of the process that I do for that. And I think the other one that I had scheduled for this month was to add a product to my Zazzle page, which for me didn't necessarily happen this month, but uh, if I don't get it done, I'll put it for the next month, and then just try to get it completed in the next month, and work that way. And so, um, as I be just before I kind of uh, set up to this video, that's when I was working on on my calendar. And um, one of the things that I want to add for this coming month is book reviews. I recently finished a set of about four books that I had set up for myself um, to read. Um, you know, they kind of came from different areas. You, you suggestions from different people. Um, you know, book reading book reading lists from other people. And as I got them, I read them, and so now I can, you know, take the time and, you know, kind of review them a little bit and create good content 
uh, for a book review um, that I'll be posting um, shortly within this channel up there. So the collection of books that I have for review um, are pretty very, it's pretty, very, very, very spread. So the very first book is called Pip. Second book is The Richest Man in Babylon. The third book is Guerrilla Marketing. And the last book is The Way of the Superior Man. Each of those have their own little interesting story of how I either selected them or chose them, or even just got word of mouth of wanting to read these books. And so um, I'll review those uh, on this channel probably weekly, one each week. Um, if not that, maybe one every other week, something like that, kind of stretch it out. And so that I can start reading other content that I can actually, um, when I'm done with those, kind of just dovetail right into continuing and doing some of the book reviews on some of the books that I have set up or that I would like to get to do some reviews. So that's what I'm doing. Um, I think the other thing that I had done this week, um, I completed another um, resume writer uh, opportunity. Um, she didn't really ask for too much. You know, I offered as much as I can, you know, can actually give. And she was kind of looking for really something simple. And so I kind of, you know, took the resume that she had for me uh, or that she had for herself. And I just kind of reworked it a little bit, made it a little sharper, punched it up um, with some, you know, really important words that you want to use on your resume, which may be actually a good topic um, to use in the video. A, you know, words that, you know, really um, are really striking, words that uh, kind of really show that the person is um, definitely capable and able to do the work. Um, but also as the reader of the resume, it's kind of really striking and kind of gives um, the, the, the view of the person uh, applying for the position, um, put them in a good light. So that's kind of really what I did for her, really simple. I uh, didn't take too much time, but based on things that I had, I kind of you know found the time in between to kind of create, um, create the resume that I delivered to her. So that's kind of one thing I had going this week. Uh, so I'm excited for this coming month, you know, um, October. Not necessarily much of a Halloween type person, but you know what happens after you know October. It goes into the holidays, and then it's just kind of a rush to the new year. So um, I'm excited for that and. Outside of all those things, I'm just kind of planning some projects and, that I can use to um, for the holidays, you know, either to sell or to you know use as gifts or just kind of be able to to promote myself as a uh, a creative. So that's what I'm up to. Uh, it's been a great month of September. Um, you know, saying goodbye to summer, hello fall, looking forward to winter and the new year, and so. Uh, that's what I'm up to. Uh, again, uh, where everyone out there is having a great start to their new week in the new month of October. And um, yeah, like we always do at this time, have a blessed day. See you on the flip side. Let's go.